In this video, I will show you how to use the mask brush in Blender sculpting mode, and I'll show you some different reasons of why you might want to use the mask brush. And after watching this video, if you'd like to learn more about sculpting in Blender, then definitely check out my Blender sculpting tutorial playlist with the link in the description to watch more of my sculpting tutorials. So for an example for the sculpting, I'm going to add an icosphere because we can subdivide the icosphere. Right behind me, if you click on the little add icosphere settings right after you add the icosphere, Sphere. I'm going to turn the subdivisions up really high and that way we have a very nice smooth subdivided icosphere to sculpt on. So with this object selected I'm now going to go into the sculpting mode and then if I go right over here I'm going to turn on the X symmetry and I'm also going to turn on the Dyne topo so it adds geometry as we sculpt. Now if you are in the sculpting mode of the object, then you can press the T key and that'll open up this side panel here. And then the mask brush is going to be right down here. Now you can find all of the settings for the brush right up here, but also right over here on the side panel, if you go here to the active tool and workspace settings, you can also get to the different settings right here. And I'll just go over a few other useful shortcut keys. So you can press the F key to make your brush bigger or smaller. You can also just drag the radius value right here. You can also press Shift F to make the brush more and less strong. And you can also drag around the strength value right there. And also the strength and radius are right over here on the side panel. So now using my drawing tablet, I'm going to start to paint here, and you can see that we're basically painting this dark area on the object. And so this is where you're adding the mask. Now something that's important to keep in mind is that the mask brush actually doesn't affect the faces, it affects the vertices of a mesh. So I have a cube here, and this cube is very low poly, and I'm in sculpt mode. So if I start to add a mask here, if I try to add a mask on the face, you can see it's not actually adding any mask, and that is because this is just one face. If I start to paint here though, you can see it is adding a mask to that vertex. And so if you want to use the mask brush, you should really use it on a much more subdivided object or an object which has much more geometry. So just keep that in mind if you're trying to add a mask to a face. Now wherever you paint a mask, you're not going to be able to sculpt on that area. So we're basically masking out this area so it won't be affected. So now what you can do is just go to a different brush. For instance, you could use this brush here, the clay strips brush. And now I can start to add clay, but you can see when I try to sculpt on the mask, it's not affecting the mask. So for instance, if I wanted to maybe create an eye socket, I could mask out this area, and then I could sculpt around the eye socket and sculpt the eyelids, and the eye socket won't be affected. Now if you want to paint away the mask, what you can do is hold down the control key, and then you can paint, and you can see it's going to get rid of that masked area. Now you can also change this just by clicking on the direction. So on default it's set to add, and so that's going to add mask. But if you click here to change it to subtract, now it's going to get rid of the mask. Or you can also just hold down the control key, and that'll flip it. So holding down the control key, now you can see it's going to add more of the mask. And then if you want to completely get rid of the mask, you can just press Alt M. So Alt M will clear the mask. So now that I've sculpted this basic eye shape, let's say that I want to sculpt inside the eye socket, but I don't want to sculpt any of the other mesh. Well, what you can do is invert the mask by pressing Control i So just press Control i and that'll just invert the mask. So if you continue to press Control i it'll go back and forth and invert the mask. So now I can just go to a brush here, like the clay strips brush, and I can start to like push in the clay, but you can see everywhere else where the mask is, it's not being affected, and I can only sculpt here where the eye is. Now there is also a hardness value right down here, so if I turn this hardness value way up, now if I paint here you can see the edges of the mask is much harder. So now if I head back up here to the clay strips brush, you can see the edge will be much harder. Or if I wanted there to be much more of a fade in the mask, I could go back here to the mask brush, and I could turn the hardness value way down, and then I could just press lightly with my tablet, and I could just paint a very subtle mask. And then if I go back up here to the clay strips brush, you can see it's still going to affect that area but not quite as much. Now another great use of the mask brush is if you want to pull out a part of the mesh but you don't want the rest of the mesh to be affected. So what I can do is go here to the mask brush and let's say on this alien face here I want to bring out an ear. So what I'm going to do is make my brush a bit smaller and then I can go along here and I can just paint where I want the ear to come out. 
works. So now I want to invert the mask. So I'm going to press control I. Control I will invert the mask. So I can now press the G key to go to the grab brush, or you can click right here to the grab brush, and I can start to pull this out. And you can see we're going to pull out that ear, but it's not going to affect the rest of the mesh. And then I can also start to sculpt it. So I could go here to the clay strips brush, and I could start to sculpt the ear. And the mask brush is really helpful in this scenario because I can sculpt the side of the ear and I know that it's not going to mess up the side here of the face. If I want to pull around the shape of the ear, I can easily do that and I know it's not going to pull out the side of the head along with it. And then once I'm done, I can just press Alt M and Alt M is going to get rid of the mask. And then I can just continue to sculpt the ear onto the head. And you could use the same method if you want to bring out the neck. So I'm just going to go to the mask brush and I can just paint where I want the neck to come out. Then I can press Control I and I can go to the grab brush or what I could also do is go here to the snake hook brush and I can make my brush really big and then I can just pull this out and the snake hook brush really helps in this case because you can see it's actually adding more geometry as I pull it out and then once I brought that out again I can just press alt M and I can go here to the clay strips brush and then I can just sculpt this. Now if you want to add some details or patterns on a mesh then the mask brush can be super helpful for this as well. So what I'm doing is just adding a lot of geometry. I'm adding a lot of detail here using the clay strips brush and then I'm going to hold down the shift key and just smooth out this area. So now what I'm going to do is go right here to the mask brush and I'll make sure my brush is really small and I'm just going to go along here and I'm just going to paint some little details. And then once that's done I can press Control I and that's going to invert the selection. So then what I could do is I could go to the inflate brush. The inflate brush is right here and now I can go along here and you can see it's going to pop out that geometry. I could also use some other brushes like the clay strips brush if I wanted to and just kind of bring out a layer of clay. And then once that is finished I can press Alt M to remove the mask. And you can see we now have some little surface details or pattern on that mesh. Now another way to add a mask to your mesh is to just move your mouse to wherever you want the mask to be added. And then you can press Shift A. And I can drag this out and you can see it's going to make kind of a little circle here. And I can basically drag out any area that I want to be selected. So I'll drag it there and then just place it there. And then if I wanted to I could go here to the mask brush and I could just go along here and I could erase it or I could add more of the mask. And then if you wanted to you can of course press Control I to invert the selection. And then once that's finished, I could go here to the snake hook brush and I could make my brush really big. And I'm going to go along here and just kind of pull out the shoulders and kind of pull this down here to kind of create a bust for my character. And then I could press Alt M and I can go here to the clay strips brush and then just continue to add more clay. So that is how you use the masking brush in Blender's sculpt mode. So I hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching. And if you'd like to learn more about sculpting in Blender, then definitely check out my sculpting tutorial tutorial playlist with the link in the description to watch more of my Blender sculpting tutorials. But I hope this helps and thank you for watching.